Tomorrow, members of a pro-life group who say they found 17 fetuses in a dumpster plan to release pictures to prove it. This is all part of an effort to pass legislation that would change the way abortion clinics dispose of fetuses. 24-hour news aides Crystal Hillier joins us in studio now with more on this story. Crystal? Susie, right now in Michigan, it's legal to throw away fetuses or parts of a fetus like normal trash as long as abortion clinics cover it up with formaldehyde. But one pro-life group in Lansing that claims they saw fetuses dumped into a garbage firsthand is pushing to get that law changed tonight. Just outside Lansing, no discoveries today. But Chris Vanaclaw says back in February he found fetuses in there, 17 of them. And he says he has the pictures to prove it. I was horrified. There's nothing more shocking than, than finding a baby that's been torn apart from its mother. He's a part of a pro-life group that claims the fetuses had been dipped in formaldehyde, making the dumping legal. They contacted police, who teamed up with the attorney general's office to check it out. They did random searches over several months and found medical waste and tissue inside that dumpster, but no fetuses. Officials ruled this clinic did not break any laws, so no one here will face any charges. After seven months, this case is now closed. We think it's just appalling that abortion clinics can literally dump these body parts in the back dumpster or or flush them down into the into the municipal sewer system. Uh, we just think that that's the wrong way to dispose of a human being. Allegan County State Representative Joe Havman is not going after the clinic. He's going after the law. In March, he proposed a new bill that would make it illegal in Michigan to throw a fetus or parts of a fetus away like normal garbage. The proposed legislation would require anyone to bury or cremate aborted fetuses. I think no matter what side of the pro-life, pro-choice issue you're on, I hope that people can uh, separate this and say that in a civilized society, this isn't the way we treat uh, deceased humans. Tomorrow, another lawmaker who signed on to this will release those pictures that the pro-life group took of those fetuses. Now, we do have those photos tonight, but because they're so graphic and we can't confirm the authenticity of those photos, we've decided not to use them. By the way, those pictures were not included in the attorney general's investigation. Susie?